Okay, today I have an unboxing. So I mentioned in one of my previous videos before that I wanted to get a set of the Castelli Aero bibs and I found them on sale because it was the last pair that they had in stock and guess what I bought both pairs but not really this one is the Castelli Volo bib short and this one is the Castelli free arrow bib short they're both the sky edition so let's see what they look like I also have the team edition so I'll pull those out right now So the only bibs that I have not tried from Castelli would be their Inferno bib shorts, which is made for the summer. And I really have no desire for those shorts. They're super thin and the fabric's actually kind of perforated. So I imagine they wouldn't even be that durable. And also I don't own any of their um, winter bib shorts or anything. I just use knee warmers or something if I'm gonna ride in the cold. So anyways, anyways, I guess I'll show you the team bib short first. Just let me turn these inside out. Team bib short. So just a standard bib short. You wouldn't even be able to tell. It's got the Castelli logo. These are the 2000, hmm, I wonder what, I think these are 2000, two thousand sixteen or 17 version. I also have the 2017 or 2018 team bib short. So these have the little, this thing. I remember when they first came out with this bib short, this pattern was to, um, I think there were, it was a parody of that Frogger game or something. But yeah, these are really nice. They're nice and thick, so they're really durable. I like the sky bib shorts because they're the branding and the logos, the graphics, it's not too, like it's not too much and it, you can pretty much match it with any jersey. It doesn't look too racy or anything. Yeah, it's, it's not too thin but not too thick so they feel really quality. They have the silicone, just like grippy stuff on the leg hem. One thing, I already opened the other ones, the new ones, and one thing that I'm skeptical about is this, the leg version is thinner on these, but I can't say for sure if I, something I don't like or not, because I haven't used these yet. So I don't wanna say anything. Anyways, these have quite a bit of miles on them already, and you can see there's no, there's no wear or anything. The chamois is really comfortable for me. So it'll be interesting to see what a more expensive bib short gets you in terms of chamois. I don't really get any saddle sores. I don't use chamois cream. So uh, yeah, it should be interesting. I always hear people saying things like, oh man, you gotta get this bib short and it's like a 200, $300 bib short. So yeah, this, I'll open the Volo Big Short first. This one has the textured leg surface, which is supposed to aid in aerodynamics. The Aero one has that too, so I was surprised that the Volo has it as well. 
but it's a different pattern, so I'm not really sure what the whole deal is on that. So here's the tag. Castelli always uses like this, um, not a binder clip. What do you call this? I forget what you call this thing. Safety pin? Yeah, safety pin. They always use a safety pin on their bib shorts. Or on their, all their garments actually. So I use size small. So that's why I'm always getting these on sale because no one really uses size small, especially here in the United States. And that's when I swoop in and pick them up. So I know right away you probably want to see the texturing. That's what I could never find any good pics on the texturing. Uh, that's what I was interested in. So right away this chamois, I mean maybe because it's new, it feels a lot thicker or stiffer, it has a unique form. It's lighter than the other bib short, I can tell right away. I wonder if that's because the other one is full of dirt or something. It's accumulated grime and that weighs it down, but I don't think so. Anyway, um, let me see if I can do something here so you can see the texture better. Yeah, so the texture on this one is kind of like, they're like checkered, raised checkers. It looks kind of like carbon fiber really, but without any clear so you can see the dimension but it looks pretty cool. On the Castelli website and all the websites, so this is um, composed of different panels and on the Castelli websites or pretty much any stock photo you see of these, the panels look like a different color, but it's all a uniform black, really. So, I mean, I'm, I like that because on the stock photos that they use, it looks like one section's black and the other section's kind of like a black gray, but it's all really black and the stitching is black too, so you can hardly tell. They have this, um, the... The straps are white and they have that frogger pattern thing on there, that blue lines. And the logo, 21CF. So the, the textured part is only on this section right here, the side of the leg. And here's the, you can see the leg hem. This is what I was mentioning earlier. It's a lot thinner than the team version. As you can see, you can see right through it. So, I don't know if I like that. But hey, gotta try it first. Supposedly this is like one of the favorites that Costelli makes. And it's got grip right there as well. Be interesting to see how that holds up with use. I'm not a fan of the white bib straps. You know, I just like the cleaner look of black. But supposedly the white hides better under a jersey. I don't know. I, being able to see the bib straps doesn't really bother me. I'm sorry, I don't have it in camera. Anyways, that's what the bib, the chamois looks like. I like that. Yeah, the pattern looks really cool. It's not really obvious from far away. I mean, you'd have to be really close to to really 
that I see the pattern. Yeah, I mean, just a regular bib short, really. The only, I think, the only benefit, the only advantage some would have over the the team bib short would probably be it's just it's a little bit lighter so it should be cooler and that arrow pattern um, supposedly the chamois is more comfortable but I guess I have to really use it to to judge like maybe it's also more stretchy or the fabric provides uh, muscle support or something so I can't really get too much into detail on what I think about these yet. So there's the Pinarello logo, the Sky logo, Castelli on the left leg. There's nothing on the right leg hem. I mean, you have Sky on the right side. And on the left side, it says Sky too. Then you have the Castelli, the scorpion thing on the rear and also on the, the right. And then on the back panel, it says uh, 21 CF thing, 21st Century Fox, which is one of their sponsors. Uh, I, I like that they changed it to this smaller one, which is a little more um, discreet than the actual whole letters that say 21st Century, where it's spelled out. This way it matches better with more kits. So yeah, this is the Volo bib. This air seat pad. This should include stickers or something. I mean, they're kind of expensive. You should get a sticker. <laughs> okay. Now the um, the aero bib. So right away, the aero bib comes in a nicer package. The Volo bib and the Team bibs, they both come in this this bag thing here. It's a simple bag. Even their jerseys come in a bag like that. I've only bought their Team Edition jerseys, never their race jerseys. So maybe their higher end jerseys come in a nicer bag too. I don't know. So this one just opens here. So the free arrow bib short is supposed to be a little bit heavier than the Volo bib. So we'll see. There's some literature here. Mm. This is their highest end bib. Something, something, something. So they claim this will give you an actual unfair advantage. Bam. All right, same thing with your safety pin thing, this little red pin. Should probably save these I'd have a bunch by now <laughs> all right so what does this say free arrow bib short man size small so this one has a different chamois actually So this one's supposed to be a more stretchy from what it says here and has zone specific fabrics or something he 
it's in Spanish, Italian, German, French, and English, which I only read. You know what? I can read three of those. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So right away, the textured leg panel. This one definitely looks a lot cooler than the Volo bib. And this one is like dimpled, dimpled I mean. What I thought when I was looking at the stock photos online, I thought these were kind of like glue, like glue dots that they applied after. So I was worried, I thought they would wash off with use, but it's actually, if I look at it closer, um, let me see if I can make this brighter because my room's kind of dark. So in this one, you can actually, you can definitely see the texture even from far away. And you can see that they're not blue dots or anything. It's actually the fabric that's kind of sewn in that method so that it has that texture so that is really neat hmm can you see that it's really cool these are some pretty cool looking bib shorts so again these have the Pinarello logo on the right two scorpion things back there etc etc these ones are actually have something back here they have like a little pocket oh yeah I guess these have like a radio pocket yeah they do yeah so these actually there's a little pocket sewn in right here. See, Team Sky. You can put something in there, Maybe like energy bar or something, but that's meant for your radio. And the huge difference here, this one, the strap starting at the back is more, f is more flat. It has this different material here like this red band thing so I think judging by where this is this is going to be on your back don't know what that's meant to do maybe so it doesn't raise your jersey or something so it helps arrow that's pretty cool before I forget I want to check the other bib shorts see if this one has a okay so here's the volo bib and this one doesn't have any pocket or anything. So it's only the arrow one that has that pocket for the radio. And obviously 